Hey guys, so today I'll be telling you about rhinosporidiosis. It is a chronic granulomatous condition and it is caused by rhinosporidium seabaring, which is classified as a member of protistin mesomycetozoa. It is more common in the southern states of India and it affects the immunocompetent individuals. Most commonly, this is a waterborne disease and the clinical features of it are the following. Number first, there is blood tinged nasal discharge, there would be frank apistaxis and there would be nasal stuffiness. Now findings which we can see on the examination of this mass or the patient would be number first, it would be a leafy polypoidal mass which would be of pink or purple in color and it would be attached to the nasal septum or maybe to the lateral wall. Sometimes it also extends into the nasopharynx and may hang behind the soft palate. Secondly, this is very vascular mass and it bleeds on touch. The surface is studded with white dots which represents the sporangia. The picture shown here is of the rhinosporidium suffering patient and it shows the mass in the nose and the second picture of it is of the histopathological slide which shows the sporangium and it is fully packed with immature sporoblasts. Now coming to the diagnosis, we will do biopsy for diagnosing this condition and it would show the sporangia. Now coming to the treatment, we have to do surgery for this condition and it would be complete excision with diathermy knife and cauterization of its base. Now recurrence is common after the surgery and Dapson can also be used in few cases. So this was all about rhinosporidiosis. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video.